Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday, um, August 14th, 2020. And it's that time again. We're here to do our daily oracle. Oops, I got them turned around here. There they are. <laughs> so, um, um, I had just watched a YouTuber uh, yesterday, the day before, and it was talking about um, the full moon in Aquarius that just happened. And, you know, how full moons are hidden things that we need to acknowledge or reveal, even sometimes to ourselves. And also that, you know, how it was so chaotic, not just, you know, internally, but, you know, we just on the East Coast had that um, tropical storm go through. We even had a couple tornadoes go through here. Um, you know, it was kind of a wicked day. I think it was like the August 4th, I think. Anyway, he was mentioning about like um, the throat chakra. And it's so weird because I've had been having these issues with the throat chakra, you know, and then I had a card one of the daily oracles, I think it was, that was saying about um, speaking your truth. So it just kind of brings everything together about my throat chakra, just getting really active and um, speaking truth, you know, and, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, that's another whole subject. So I don't know. I just wanted to point that out in case you're having similar things. Oh my God, look at my hair. <laughs> it's early. It's early. So all right, let's go ahead and jump into this message and see what Spirit has for us this Friday, August 14th, okay? All right, Spirit. What message do you have for us? What guidance? What do you want us to acknowledge? What do you have for us here, Spirit? Okay, I'm gonna just do one more and then we're gonna go ahead and get into this message. Spirit, what is our message? What guidance? What wisdom do you wanna share with us today? Friday, August 14th for the collector. That was too many, I flipped over there. Just one card, ah, thank you. Thank you. All right. So we have individuality and this says you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Yes, no two people are the same. So we might want to fit in and uh, be accepted, but it's very important to be your authentic self, your unique self, and leave your individuality on things. So let's go ahead and read this extra message. Individual. Okay. All souls originate from the same source energy, but the earth school affor affords us the opportunity to feel separate. This is the double-edged sword that is life in this physical dimension. Our nature is to be one with the whole, but when we incarnate and our awareness of our divine self is diminished, lessons are learned more quickly. Your goal is to feel connected to everything while you experience the illusion of separation and your path to that goal is your own. It's your individual journey. At the beginning, you may relate to the human aspect of yourself, the ego, but eventually glimmers of your true nature start to manifest through themselves through awareness. When your distinct soul personality expresses itself and you live your life consciously, you have moved beyond the illusions of the physical dimension and have come back to the tr home to the truth. Of your spirit as you present yourself to the world every other soul who crosses your path will recognize this keen sense of familiarity and start to remember their spiritual heritage as well be yourself in love abundantly that is life well lived that is beautiful yeah so you know why should there be more than one or something you know that's we're all unique we're all special and i don't get this like how people always want everybody to think like them. They get mad if they're not and all that. It is beautiful to have different, different, you know, individual people. We all have a purpose. We're all unique. We're all special. And we need to share that gift. So I'm trying to turn this down before this gets real loud. Okay. So yeah. So practice your individuality. You're your own person. Let that authentic soul shine. Okay, so have a great day. Peace. Bye.